guys, it's Brittany and my bird feeder uh, outside. We just got back from grocery shopping. I'd love to show you my outfit of the day, but I can't find an angle. So um, I actually didn't make a intro to this video because I decided to take my last video and split it into two. So uh, subscribe, thank you for watching, and let's get on to my second half of the video. We did go to our all town yard sale yesterday and I found a shark, it's actually over there, a shark robot vacuum for $10 from um, the mother of one of my friends from high school. So I bought it. Um, I know using a used vacuum from someone else's house, it definitely sounds a little bit gross, but I know I grew up at her house often. I know her mom was very clean. Um, so I was very comfortable with buying a vacuum from her. And so I did, I did buy it. It's amazing. I've only ever used like the Bissell's, like the $90 that you get at Ollie's ones and they're big, they're bulky and they break. So I don't, after using this, I don't know if I'm ever gonna go back to a Bissell. I might actually, it's worth it. It hangs up on the wall. Um, as you may be able to tell, I have a very small home. So I don't have room to store things at all. So I have this one hanging up in the wall in my office behind a door and you can't you can't see it it's it's amazing it really is we did that um, but before that I actually had a mole on my leg um, I can't see what I'm doing so who knows how this is gonna turn out but I had a mole on my leg um, as you can see probably on my chest and everything here here even here I'm a very moly person I always have been I don't know if it has to do with my dad's side of the family all being redheads. They all have like that, um, the the skin with freckles and everything. Um, so yeah, I had a mole on my leg, one of many. I have moles all over me, but this one started growing. What? And so this actually became one of the reasons why I figured it would be nice to make just a quick little video. I'm hoping this ends up being quick. Um, I went to the dermatologist in my area and first of all, that appointment was sadly very frustrating. Um, I went there, I checked in. I hadn't been there for two years, so they did make me do the new patient paperwork, um, but they sent me the paperwork in the mail so that I could fill it out I wasn't new. I've been here many times before. I just haven't gone for the past two years because I didn't do anything in 2020, of course. But anyways, uh, I filled it out and I brought it there with me. Uh, my appointment was at, I do believe, 11.55, I think it was at. 11.55? Yeah. And I sat down in the waiting room and I have YouTube Premium, so I downloaded a bunch of videos because this place has is known for having a long wait in the waiting room. So I downloaded a bunch of videos, a um, bunch of two cr true crime, Kendall Ray, Stephanie Harlow, her new podcast. And I started watching that. And an hour and a half later, <laughs> I was still sitting there. So I went up to the counter and I was like, hello. Like, I didn't want to be mean, um, but I was like, I've actually been here for an hour and a half. I think it was like 130 by this time, 140, something like that. I was like, can you tell me what's going on, please? Because I expected a wait, but I didn't expect that long of a wait. And she told me that it was surgery day and that she was sorry and had me sit back down and told me she'd update me. And about 10 minutes later, they did call me back. And um, I did mention to the doctor, I was like, it is a little much to have a patient waiting for an hour and a half in the waiting room. Like, I don't want to be rude. And he was like, oh no, I'm sorry. Maybe you just took too long to fill out your paperwork. And that I was like, I brought my paperwork with me. It was filled out and I just handed it to her. So I was literally waiting, doing nothing. Um, but anyways, um, he did end up looking at the mole on my leg and um, he wanted to schedule to get it removed immediately. So whatever he saw was not good, but I had the day planned to where I would be home by two so that I could get my son off of the bus because he actually went to the optional summer school and the bus took him there to and from. And um, so I told him it's it's 145, like I don't have time for you to remove this from my leg today, I'm sorry. Can we do it another day? And he actually scheduled me, 
I think maybe because I complained, he scheduled me for the first thing in the morning and he told me to be the first patient that arrived on that day. That way I can get it done. Uh, so I went in, I got it done. I posted a TikTok about it. I ended up getting 19 stitches, five at the bottom layer of my skin and 14 on the top layer of the skin. And the TikTok got like sensitive, age restricted. I guess I didn't think, um, not everybody wants to see stitches. So I took it down. Um, but yeah, I'm still healing. After I got the mole removed, they, they sent it in for a biopsy and they told me that it was a melanoma, which I figured because it was 17 millimeters in size and it had tripled in size over the past like year, two years. Um, it was just a dot and it had turned into like a circle as big as my thumb. And um, it was also looking dry and patchy. Like anytime that I would put lotion on my legs, like that only that mole would be dry and had dry skin on it and like patches on it. So, um, so yeah, I kind of figured that it would be coming back as a melanoma. He called me after he took it out and he wanted me to go straight in like the next day this was like a week or so later in order like for a follow-up, but it seemed urgent and the lady who called me over the phone wouldn't tell me why to come in. So I was actually stressed out because they had my mole, the results came back from my mole and I'm like, this can't be good if they don't want to tell me it over the phone. So I went in and um, they basically sat me down. They told me that it did come back as a melanoma, which I did know that, I, I just, we already knew that, but now I guess he wants me to go to a cancer doctor, an oncologist. Um, he's going to call me, he said in the next two weeks, he's going to call me with a doctor that he's going to refer me to, uh, an oncologist, and I now have to go there for a follow-up. And I don't know why. I'm not, I'm not the smartest whenever it comes to doctor-type visits. That's a story for another day. But yeah, so I'm, I've definitely been stressed out about that, hoping that I'm okay. Um, I, I'm sure that I will be. He said that we caught it early and he also said that the results showed that he took everything out. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to stay in good, good graces, trying to stay in good vibes, good hopes in my mind. I just want to make sure that I am healthy. So I'm definitely going to go to that appointment and we'll see, we'll see what happens. Oh, it's hard to get this piece. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my hair and then quickly, and then we'll, we'll wrap this up for today. That's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to post something. Something's better than nothing, so I'll be right back. Okay, so that is the hair done. And yeah, the wave affair is still definitely my favorite, but uh, since I do have both, it's fun to alter them uh, whenever I want to, but. I have been trying to stay away from the internet as far as Googling like what's going on with my leg. I'm just going to wait to go to the doctor and see what happens from there. So um, if anybody does watch this, thank you. I do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, comment, and um, follow me on Instagram. It's bgroover underscore xo. Again, I'll add that. And yeah, thank you for watching if you did watch. And I hope you guys have a really nice day. Bye.